Your body contains about 23,000 human genes in contrast to over a million bacterial genes. In a word, we're a collection of bacterial colonies with some human cells hanging on. Before we understand our own genes, it's necessary to grasp the genetic implications of the microbiome, the label given to the total ecology of microorganisms which outnumber ourselves 10 to 1. So Rudy, it's been said that you're not just your genome, you're also your microbiome, which mm -hmm. is your second genome. It's very accurate to call it the second genome because you know, nine out of 10 of our cells are not human cells, they're bacterial cells. We harbor 2,000 different bacterial species, 2,000 bacterial genomes that are also contributing to whether we're healthy or whether we have illness. Even though the microbiome is le less than maybe 5% of our body mass, in genetic information, uh, there is 150 times more gene information than in the human genome. So it's very important that we take care of our microbiome. So there's more and more literature now on how dysbiosis or disruption in the microbiome's ability to balance itself because of unhealthy lifestyles can actually um, lead to many diseases from oh, yeah. eczema, ulcerative colitis, inflammatory bowel disease, asthma, psoriasis, asthma, arthritis, autoimmune disorders. Even psychiatric diseases. And many types of cancer. Yeah, I mean, basically all the major diseases you need to worry about are affected by your microbiome, emphasizing especially the need for resetting it, how to keep it balanced and healthy. And that means uh, a number of things, including diet, including sleep, exercise, not just sitting around watching your weight. Emotions. Emotional stress learning how to relax, stay calm, but alert. So resetting the microbiome is a very important part of resetting your whole biological intelligence, if you will.